Hi guys! So I have here, this is going to be just kind of like a haul and some of the stuff that I've used, some I haven't used yet, so I'll, we'll just get into it and I'll let you know some of the things, you know, whatever is in here. Alright, so the first thing I picked up, I picked this up um, a little while ago. This is the Morphe um, 3502 and I was at Ulta one day, I was buying a, a birthday gift, I think it was a birthday gift for a friend. And birthday? Yeah, I was getting ready to check out, I was getting her another palette. It was the Urban Decay, it was like this weird setup and it was really cute. But then I saw this one and it had so many shades and I know that she liked these shades. So it has all these orangey kind of sunset like shades and I really, really like this. I kind of wish that it did have, um, you see the name of the shades are right here. I kind of wish it had the names underneath the shadows but you know, it is what it is. It's a little plasticky kind of package, but the shadows are really nice, and I really, really like that one. Next, I picked up, um, I was at Kohl's, and just browsing around, looking at stuff, and the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible, it was there on clearance for nine bucks. It was, there was only two. I got one of the two, and I was like, holy crap, I've been wanting to try this. I've heard so many great things, and I have been using this almost every single day. Um, it's so pretty. You can see that these two colors here I've been really loving. Actually, a lot of these shades up here I've been really loving, so um, it was definitely worth the money. And I just think this has been something that I've been using like every single day since I've gotten it. It's been about two weeks that I think I've gotten this, so I've really, really been loving this, and it's so worth it. Nine dollars, what a steal. So I think they still have that at Ulta. These things here I picked up from like CVS. These were on clearance. I don't know why they were on clearance. I don't know if they're changing up their packaging or whatever. These are just some glycolic cleansing pads that you can use every single day, which I don't use it every single day because I'm just not sure what it's gonna do, but it's been really, really gentle on my skin. Um, and then after I cleanse my face, when I use this, I kind of feel a little bit better because it still has a little makeup residue and it kind of just takes it off. So I use it like every other day, even though it says you can use it twice a day. Is that what I said? Yeah, it says that you can use it twice a day. There's like, what, 60 pads in here. So this whole container is good for 30 days. And it was on clearance for like five or six bucks at CVS. So I don't know if you're... You can look in your CVS, you might have these, you might find them. I don't know why the colors are different. Um, it says exactly the same thing on it. Glycolic Fix Daily Cleansing Pads. Treatment. Yeah, it says exactly the same thing. This is from Skin and Pharmacy Advanced Anti-Aging Therapy. Um, these are retinol treatment wipes. So it has retinol and hyaluronic acid. I haven't used these just yet but um, it says that you can use two to three times per week. I'm excited to try these. I just haven't had a chance to use them yet. And again, all of these clearance items, they were on sale for five to six bucks. And I think maybe one of them was like four something. Um, this one is the Skin and Pharmacy Advanced Anti-Age Therapy Dual Action Moisture Boost Gel. So this one I have tried it like once, I think. Um, and I really like moisturizers that are like this. I'm currently using one already, but if you can see like, is it gonna pour out? The consistency is like this really soft gel. Um, it's like a mixture of like a, a lotion and a gel, but it's kind of like very, I don't know. It's just that, I don't know. It's that gel consistency. And it just has like a very clean, almost, uh, cucumber watermelon like scent but it's very light and I like this one for the consistency so I am excited to start using this I'm just waiting to use up what I have in my bathroom right now next I got the glycolic scrub this is exfoliant glycolic fix um, it's just a facial scrub I haven't used this one yet I have another cleanser in my shower actually I'm about done with it, so I can throw this one in my shower next, so I'll be excited to try this one out. Um, really good. I mean, I think they're originally $15 to $20 for all these items, maybe more, more or less. Some are more, some are less, and so I got them all around the same price range, between $4 and $6.50 a piece. 
Next is, um, I ordered, where did I get this one from? I don't remember where I purchased this one from. This is the Divine Dark. I had another one that is like the brunette and it still leaves like, a, it's not a white cast, but it's not dark enough. So this is the darkest one and I really like this one. Um, I just started using this one this week and this one's really, really nice. And these have like super powerful sprays. This is like the craziest sprays. Like I sprayed it over here and it went in my ear and I was like, oh my God, it's so powerful. It can just like throw your hair around. These are really good for $7.99 and I think I saw them at Walmart for like $5.99. Okay, now on to e.l.f. e.l.f. had a clearance. Um, I don't think this was in the clearance. This is their hydrating coconut mist. This one is so nice. It kind of, it has a nice mister and it smells just like fresh coconut. This is really nice. It's not like that fake um, coconut, you know, when you're putting on like sun tanning lotion and stuff like that. It's like a real coconut smell. It's really nice, very hydrating, feels really good. My coworkers use it. Um, you can see I've used a lot of it out of there already. So this has been really nice. I think it was like six bucks. I don't think that was one of the clearance items, but oh, I didn't even know that I got this. This is so crazy. Okay, this is the e.l.f. Booster Drops. Um, I'm not sure what's in this one. I forgot what it said because I had a few different drops and I chose this one for the description of whatever it says, but it doesn't say it on here. It just says antioxidant. Forgive me, I'm still kind of sick, so I'm trying to get over it, but it's just not happening. But anyway, so these are anti antioxidant boosting drops. I'm not sure if it's like an oil or um, a serum. So, but I got that one. And then I got these little, um, they're like little Velcro thingies. Um, that you can just like put in your hair right here to hold your hair out of your face without putting like a clip to like bend your hair. So these are pretty cool. Um, and they actually work. They actually do hold your hair back. So these are cool. I think I got these, most of this stuff is like under a buck. Let me see. These brushes here, I think all of these brushes were like 60 something cents. These are the travel size, but I like these little fluffy brushes because I can never have enough fluffy brushes. Um, these are the eye blending brush. This, um, there's two of those liquid highlighter brush. Um, I never use these brushes for what they say that they are. I just use them for whatever. Then I got a flawless face brush. I figured I would use this one. This is like a really nice fluffy brush that I could probably use, you know, for blush or even bronzer. This is a pointed powder brush. This one, let me see. I didn't have, like I said, I haven't opened any of these brushes. Oh, this one's nice. They're very like, um, very soft, not very, um, like it has a lot of brushes, but it's not super, super, super dense. Cause it's, it's very like, not, I don't want to say flimsy, but it's, I don't know. Um, Ooh, this one will be nice for like powder. Is that what it says? Pointed powder brush. Yes. Hello. A contouring brush. I thought this one was really, really unique and I don't have anything like it. And I thought, Hey, that would be pretty cool to try. So this one is, you see, it's like this flat kind of, I see how it could be like for the contour here. So that would be nice. And then this is the e.l.f. Beautifully, beautifully Bare Blending Brush. Oh my God, what a tongue twister. So it's a little tiny travel one. This one, I'd like to keep it at my job um, just to kind of touch up with powder and stuff like that, that I would need. So this one's really nice. And I like that it has um, this little sleeve here that you can, keep I can keep it in my makeup bag this I haven't used yet this is mouth off lipstick remover pads so let me see let me open this up because I, I don't even know what it is it was like I said most of this stuff was like um, these were like under a dollar I'm sure it has like this plastic seal let me pop it open oh 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 it has like this white I don't know can you see that it has like this white, I don't know, white, I don't know, liquid on there. I don't know what's on there. Mouth off lipstick. It doesn't really smell like anything. And there's no description on the container itself. So everything is here on the um, packaging. It just says to swipe it over your lips back and forth until it removes it. And it has like some kind of a conditioner in it for your lips. And then these are some blotting sheets. And since they were on clearance also, so I thought I would pick these up. I could never have enough blotting sheets. So I like that they come in this plastic container. However, 
Um, and I also like that it has like this really, really big mirror here. Um, but these little things, I just find it just more annoying than anything else. I would rather have just these plain um, sheets in here filled with sheets versus having it with a sticky pad where you have to take the sticky pad and go on here. I mean, it's very nice and everything. Oh, that's so fancy. But hell, I would rather just take the pad and just kind of press it onto my skin and blot away this way. Um, it's a very nice big mirror though. I like that. It feels like one side, like they have some kind of um, texture on them. I don't know, like one side has more texture than the other. Oh, and I have another one of these little brushes here, another brush, fluffy brush. I bought this one too. I already have one of these. Um, I have it, I think I have it at work. I'm not sure, but I need one for my purse. These are really nice to have, you know, to on the go. It's a nice little dense fluffy brush. I just, I like this one. This is really nice to touch up after you blot and you put a little setting powder all over. This is really nice. And you just bring it back up, pop it back on, and there's your brush. Um, another thing I got was this little makeup bag. This was super cheap also. And I just thought it was a really nice size to keep brushes in itself, like on the go brushes, because I kind of just throw them in with the rest of my makeup and sometimes they get loose a little bit and then I get upset because then the brushes get ruined. But um, I thought this would be nice to stick all my little brushes in. And then they had this um, deal from Bioessence. Um, I got some Bioessence in my Sephora box and I've been using it um, since I got the last Sephora box and I, I didn't put a video on it because I actually put together, it was an Ipsy and Sephora, but it was Ipsy for July and Sephora for June. So I was like, oh well, forget it. I just you know, I did a whole video with two different months, so I didn't bother. And the Sephora box came afterwards. I just didn't do it. So anyway, so this is the, you could pay $5 in shipping and get these two samples, which I, I it's kind of like a ripoff. Now that I received it, I was like, oh crap, that was a ripoff. But I have to say that the cream is very, very, very nice. So it comes in the little tiny jar like this. And it's such a very nice lightweight cream. It's like a gel. This is actually what I'm using right now before I can use that other gel cream that I was telling you. Um, so I'm just using up the one that I got in my Sephora box. And then this is a squalene and vitamin C rose oil. I haven't used this one yet, but um, it's a nice little size bottle. So it's supposed to brighten firm and even your skin tone and texture. I kind of switch out between um like i'll use this one in the daytime and then i'll use the one from mixology at nighttime so it's just i don't know this one just seems kind of lightweight super super lightweight and i've been liking that one in the morning and they had this this was on like clearance for like maybe five bucks or something like that and it's just a brush holder it's a large brush holder i don't know i i kind of thought about even bringing it and using it to put pens and pencils because the back side doesn't have anything and on the other side it does say elf you can barely see the print i don't even know if you can see it but it's here somewhere um and this is the inside it's got one big container and then two these split up into two i just thought it was really nice to hold the different brushes um because right now i have like my brushes that i'm using i keep them in the drawer and then i just take them out of the drawer when i want to use them because I, I don't know i kind of don't I don't know why I got this, to be honest with you, because I don't like keeping my brushes on the vanity for dust purposes. I keep it inside. And then I got this, um, I bought this rose gold um, synthetic brush set on Amazon. I forget how much it was, but um, I liked the little gold colored, I didn't use it yet, obviously. this. Okay, here we go. So it comes with a little sponge, it comes with a little thing to clean your brushes, and um, these are the brushes, but look how pretty these are. <clears throat> They're like this, I don't know what color you would call this, and then with the rose gold, and then the brushes are very nice. So I haven't used them yet, but I will be using them, and I like the variety of brushes that it has. So it has a couple nice, um, fluffy brushes in there, which are my favorite to use, um, an angled crease brush, um, a tiny little fan brush, but it's such a cute little pretty one. And these, this is like a little nice little angled brush. So that's that. Those are the things that I recently purchased. Um, some I've used, some I haven't used, most I have not used. 
Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for checking this out and I will see you again in another video.